Okay, so again, Junior Roberts here coming to you with real juniorroberts.com. So, in this video, we have a quick question. So, the question says a block of ice of mass 200 grams was heated from 0 degrees Celsius to steam at 100 degrees Celsius. And the question wants us to calculate the energy used in joules. Okay, so first thing uh, what i'll do is to just basically do a sketch of um exactly what uh, took place here so let us say this is our container right with some cubes of ice inside right and let us say we apply some heat source right because the question said that it was heated uh so this is the ice right uh then what happened um, as we begin to eat apply heat to that ice is we're gonna get the ice beginning to melt so we'll no longer have the ice we'll have uh, let us say some water and uh, we're gonna continue to eat it because it says that it was heated from from ice to steam so as we begin to further heat then we'll get the liquid evaporating and giving us steam right so this is exactly what what took place right so we apply some heat then and that heat goes into change in the state to liquid we'll continue to eat and that heat changes the state of the substance to gas right so as we're going through that change of state there is no heat going into raising the temperature right so we call that heat applied as hidden heat or latent heat right so we'll have latent heat that actually causes the state of the substance to change and not the temperature right so what type of latent heat are we talking about so as we go from ice to liquid we have what we call a latent heat of fusion and then here as we go from liquid to gas or from liquid to steam we have what we call latent heat of vaporization all right so we're going to use this information here to help us to solve the question so since we're looking at latent heat and again we'll have to find the latent heat of fusion for this portion and the latent heat of vaporization for this portion for us to actually calculate the energy used in joules so to calculate latent heat of fusion we'll use our formula which says that latent heat of fusion right latent heat of fusion is equal to m l f right where m is the mass of the substance and lf is the latent heat of fusion so the mass that we're given is 2000 grams which is the same as 2 kilograms so i'll write it as 2 kilograms and the latent heat of fusion of ice is actually 3330,000 well 330,000 joules per kilogram all right so when we multiply that 2 times 230,000 we will get 660,000 joules all right so that's the whole latent heat of fusion so now let's look at all the latent heat of vaporization so again to find latent heat of vaporization we'll use our formula which says that e l v which is the latent heat of vaporized energy latent heat latent heat energy of vaporization is given as m l v right or again m is the mass and that's two kilograms from before and the latent heat of vaporization of, of steam is two million two hundred fifty thousand joule per kilograms so again when we multiply that we will get four million five hundred thousand joules right 
Now to find the total energy now, we have to look at the energy that goes into changing the temperature of the ice from 0 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius, right? So we're going to say, uh, so we're going to say that EH, which is heat energy, is given as M times C times the change in temperature, right? Since we had a, t a change in temperature, so where M again is our mass, C is the specific heat capacity of water, and delta T is the change in temperature. So again, the mass is two kilograms, right? The specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joules per kilograms per Kelvin, right? And the change in temperature uh, will be, since the substance went from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, we can simply convert these values by adding 273, right? And 273. So add 273, and we'll get that the ice moved from 273 degrees Kelvin to 373 degrees Kelvin. So therefore our change in temperature from 273 degrees Kelvin to 373 degrees Kelvin is 100 degrees Kelvin. So our change in temperature then now is 100 degrees Kelvin. Right? So when we get out our calculator, we'll say 2 times 4200 times 100 gives us an answer of 8, 840,000 joules. Now, for us to actually determine the total energy, we will now need to add up all these values. So the latent heat of fusion, latent heat of vaporization, and the heat energy applied in changing the temperature. So to do that, we'll say total energy is equal to the latent heat of fusion plus the latent heat of vaporization plus the heat, cap heat energy applied in changing the temperature. So we'll have 660 joules plus 8 that, that, joules plus 4,000, well, 4,500,000 joules. So when we take the sum of all of that, let me just get out the calculator. So we say, so we say 840,000 plus 4,500,000 plus 600,000,000. And that gives us an answer of six million joules, or we can write this as six mega joules of energy. So again, this is Junior Roberts coming to you with realjuniorroberts.com. All right, this was a quick video uh, on a question of specific, well, latent heat. So. If there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on, please post them in comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, consider subscribing and hitting the share so others can actually get a chance to benefit, benefit from this. Thank you for watching.